everyone. This is uh, Chef Asif at 21 Spices. Uh, we are back again with a fantastic recipe and uh, I'm very excited to show you this. This salad is out of the world. Today we are going to show you uh, how to prepare hikama salad which is, uh, which is a very, very popular salad I have created over the years. There, there, is, there, is a, there is a very interesting story behind this salad. Uh, many years back, uh, when I was uh, preparing a Thanksgiving dinner, I happened to come out with a, with a great uh, salad. Uh, it just happened and uh, uh, everyone loved it. And uh, there were so many people uh, uh, eating at the, res at the hotel, uh, close to six, 700 people. And they loved it so much that since that day, this salad becomes super hit. And I have, I have prepared this in, in the restaurant and in, 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 my, in my huge banquet functions, weddings. And a lot of people request me for this salad. And you know, I love to share recipes and this is going to be a bomb. And I want you all to prepare this fantastic salad. Vegans, vegetarians, non-vegetarians, anybody wants to prepare this salad, this can be a great accompaniment. This can be a great, uh, great side or you can just eat it by itself. This salad, uh, you can prepare it a day before and believe me, it can stay for two or three days in the fridge and the dressing goes with it. The more it stays in the fridge, the better it gets. And then this salad, uh, uh, I also call this as a hikama salad. I don't know how many of you know hikama, but this is a, this is a root vegetable from Mexico uh, and South America. And this, this, this is my favorite, uh, favorite kind of root vegetable. Uh, this, I, I describe this as a, as a, as a combination of, uh, of, of radish and, uh, and pear. Uh, because this has little sweetness to it, crunch to it, juicy, and it's not that strong. It's, it's very neutral and it goes very well. And please follow my recipe because if you follow the way I cut this and uh, how, I, how I marinate uh, inside the dressing and leave it, that is, that is, what, that is what the magic is all about. And uh, so let's start the preparation. So the basic ingredients uh, for this hikama slaw or hikama salad is, of course, hikama is the star of this salad. And then you have uh, bell peppers, three different kinds of bell pepper, or, or, or you can use as many colors you want, but it's just for the color. Uh, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, even I use sometimes yellow bell pepper, and then red onions, okay? Very little of red onion. And then hikama, that's all you need. And this salad, uh, you have a dressing and uh, I call it a uh, uh, honey lemon vinaigrette. And it's, it's a very simple recipe which I will show you. Uh, it has uh, uh, olive oil, virgin olive oil, freshly squeezed lemon juice, little touch of cayenne, kosher salt and honey. I'll show you the exact uh, uh, proportion, how to make the dressing. This dressing is amazing. You can use it for any other salads too. It's very refreshing, very good and you will really enjoy. So let's start with the uh, hikama. This hikama um, has a very thick skin. Um, you find this hikama in different sizes. Uh, uh, I just went to the, to the farmer's market and I thought I'm gonna get a reasonably small size, but uh, I just got a huge one, but it's okay. You know, as, as long as it's, it's coming fresh, I don't mind, but uh, typically it's in smaller size and, uh, uh, and now I'll show you how to peel these. You can use a peeler or you can use a paring knife. I also use uh, carrots, uh, carrots um, uh, in the salad. Let's, let's get back and let's start preparing this salad. So it's very, very uh, important uh, you follow this technique because uh, like I said to you, this is a slaw. It has to be uh, julienne. Julienne means uh, cutting the vegetable in a, in, a, in a shape of a matchstick and I'll show you how to do it. So what I do is typically I cut this hikama, which is uh, I peel this, and then and 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 make it in a rectangle shape or any uh, square shape. And then what I do is I cut very thin slices. And if you are not that great in cutting with knives, I will recommend you buy a mandolin. Mandolin is something; it's like a grater where you can put it and slice it. Julian. Julian means uh, I'll show you how it is. Uh, because this is very important for this salad because then the flavors will come 
lot of time people ask me, like uh, you showed us the recipe and we prepared, uh, but the salad is not the same like uh, you prepared. What is the reason? Apart from following the recipe, the, even the cut is very important. If you don't do the proper cut, then what happens is it's very uneven, or if you dice it, it's not the same. Believe me, the flavors will, will be totally different when you, when you slice it this way. Look at how I am slicing very thin. If you can't, if you're not that great in knife, again, buy a mandolin or a kind of grater where, where it'll, it'll slice it and make it nice julienne. All the vegetables here we are using has to be julienne. Then the flavors will come good. This, this slaw is very popular with any kind of barbecue, any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of uh, accompaniment like uh, with, a, with a hamburger, hot dog, or anything you prepare, and then you can have this as an accompaniment instead of having a regular coleslaw. You can use this. This is very neutral, and it has very good flavor. And believe me, a lot of time people come forward, and people ask me, hey, what is this? How did you prepare? What, what kind of vegetable did you use? In fact, I was at the farmer's market, and when I was buying this, someone came to me and said, what is this? How do you prepare it? So I told them this is hikama, and then somehow they recognized me. So I told them to go and watch this video, how to prepare this salad. They were super excited. And in fact, they also bought some hikama and went home. And they're looking forward for this video to prepare it. And I'm very happy about that. Look at how I'm slicing. All these are even. If, you, if you're not that great in knife, definitely you can buy a mandolin uh, or a grater where you can slice it very thin. Look how I am going to slice it, julienne or matchstick cut. Look at this. Look at how good, uh, how good the cut is. It has to be even. It has to be like this. Then only uh, it will be, it will be your slaw, hikama slaw. And believe me, this this uh, this is a super popular, especially when people sit in the beach grill or any, any restaurant close to the beach, they can just eat this and enjoy it. Believe me, it is, it is, a, it is a so refreshing and uh, so flavorful because of the hikama, because of the peppers, onions, fresh cilantro dressing, which has uh, lemon, honey, little touch of kick from cayenne. So it is, it, is, it, is a, it is a very refreshing salad, and you really, really, you will enjoy it. Look at how good it is now. I'm going to put all this julienne inside a bowl. Look at how it is. All has to be even size. And, and uh, I'll show you how you have to even, even cut the peppers that way. And again, like I told you, uh, I have a lot of viewers following uh, me from other part of the world too. Uh, if you can't find hikama, the other alternative is pear. Take a firm pear, and pear is a fruit. I'm sure all of you know. Uh, I was vit visiting my brother uh, uh, before this lockdown. Uh, that was in February. I was in the uh, Middle East, and uh, there I could not find this, but I used pear. And believe me, the salad was fantastic. And uh, you can use a pear, or even you can use apple too. But it has to be firm and not completely ripe. Like I told you in the beginning, the star of this uh, slaw or salad is hikama. You want to have a lot of hikama. Peppers is just for a little touch of flavors and also just for color. So take the, take, take, take the sides. The peppers typically have side, you know. Like I, I'll just slice this side like this from the top. It's washed. Um, I won't take a lot. I just need one side of green, one side of yellow and one side of red. Look at this. And now, now I'll show you how to, how to slice the peppers. This is very important because peppers have sometimes, you know, uh, this flesh and also seeds. You don't want this. So I'll just slice it very thin. I'll take out this flesh and these uh, seeds out. A uh, lot of time, you know, peppers are 
you don't want to waste anything so i keep this actually uh, and sometime i dice it and use it in my stir fry but typically i want it clean like this you want your salad to be nice and look look appealing if you put all this flesh inside it's not going to look appealing look at this i'm taking this out i'm not even throwing this i chop this sometime i use in my soups or i also use in my stir fry when i prepare a shrimp stir fry vegetable stir fry i use this uh, in in that that way i don't waste it but at the same time i don't use it for salad because i want my salad to be look uh, to be nice and crispy and look good so look at this how well it's clean now i'll julian exactly the way i did the hikama take your time don't rush it um, and uh, do it nicely um, cooking is all about putting the love affection and doing it with heart you know and also make sure uh, uh, somebody who loves cooking is watching you uh, that way what happens is uh, uh, you will get motivated you know because i'm sure a lot of you who are watching uh, this video will 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 be able to tell me uh, that uh, nothing nothing satisfy you more than uh, uh, when 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 you cook something and people eat your food and they say wow it's so good so that is the best feeling uh, you can have it and you chefs always look for that and uh, for an artist um, any kind of artist you know uh, he lives on praises and he lives on um, people when they rave about his skills so anyway look at these peppers how beautiful it is so i put this pepper like this in this bowl because we are going to uh, see nice colors and uh, again like i said lot of lot of uh, hikama and also let me julienne some carrots carrots also adds a little crunch and nice taste same way like i did uh, peppers i will also slice the carrots and uh, put it in there and then the last thing is uh, our onion and i'll show you how to do that too onion has to be very little because you don't want uh, your salad to uh, to have a strong flavor of onion uh, then it will spoil your mouth you just need to have a touch of it look at this carrot now and now what i'll do is i'll cut a very slice and very simple si small piece of onion cutting with the i'll just take out this skin out okay and then i'll take small part of it see how i'm going to slice this this is this is the uh, this is the onion i took a small slice of it uh, from this main uh, onion and then what i'll do is i'll i'll slice it this way very thin very thin and you see i'm not doing a lot of onion i'm doing a touch of onion because why don't forget onion will also leave some water so you don't want to have your salad uh, watery you want your salad to be nice and crispy look at this beautiful onion and i'm going to throw in there and now the interesting part is look at this look at this i'm going to mix this look at this how colorful this is you know this is this is a fantastic slaw uh, which can which can uh, which can be used for different uh, 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 accompaniments or a side salad or you can just eat it as it is let's prepare the dressing dressing is very interesting dressing uh, this dressing is freshly prepared and definitely you need to have uh, proper ingredients for it cilantro cilantro uh, um it's it's uh, this is a local cilantro uh, which i which i got from the um, uh, farms in uh, imokli this this uh, this cilantro is uh, very very uh, flavorful and very good and we use lot of cilantro while we cook so basic things are for this dressing the basic ingredients for this uh, dressing is cilantro virgin olive oil freshly squeezed lemon juice cayenne salt honey that's it the dressing is very simple you can prepare it at home and use it for any other uh, uh, reason if you want to utilize for any other salads you are more than welcome so the main thing is cilantro so what i do is this cilantro is washed completely washed and i also use the stalks because if if the stalks doesn't have any roots and it's it's clean i use it because it has a lot of flavor in it i just throw this completely inside a, a food processor and then um, uh, i use um, one cup of um, freshly squeezed lemon juice 
freshly squeezed lemon juice, one, cu one cup of uh, virgin olive oil. And olive oil is very important. You don't want to use any other oil. Uh, you don't want to use uh, vegetable or any other oil. Just want to use olive oil. Half cup of honey. If you, if you don't want to use honey, um, what is the other alternative you can do you is uh, use, uh, if, you, if, you, if you don't want to use honey, you can also use uh, regular sugar or you can use uh, sugar free, uh, uh, any kind of sugar free uh, powder. And then um, touch of salt, not a lot, touch of salt, I'll add touch of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is hot and the, you need to add a little touch of a kick but uh, you know you can control this as much uh, as you want if you don't want also you can skip it but um, it, it's good it's good to have a little touch of it which you can handle it so that's it simple ingredients like i told you i'm going to blend this and you see how nice and beautiful and green uh, dressing comes out look at this dressing this is a fantastic dressing and uh, it's very refreshing and uh, i'll add right into this mixture So the dressing went right inside and you know, I'll use the gloves. I wear gloves always. I like to touch my food. I like to feel it a lot of time. Every chef have a style to work, but I use my hands. But when I use my hand, I wear gloves, whether I'm marinating, whether I'm mixing salad or anything. And I enjoy it because you know, food is all about love. You need to feel it, then you enjoy it. Look at how, how well I'm mixing this. And this dressing, this salad is my favorite. And in fact, I'm going to eat this for lunch today. So look at this, it's nicely um, soaking all the dressing and uh, look at the slaw, looks so beautiful. Um, and um, I prepared it day before, two days before, no problem, you can put in the fridge in tight uh, plastic lid container, leave it in the fridge, it can stay in the fridge um, and then like I told you, if you make it day before, it tastes more better, more more flavorful. All right, let's, let's plate this salad, look at this slaw. Wow, looks so good. And uh, again, um, if you can't find this hikama, there's an alternative I told you. You can use pear. Pear is the best and you can find pear anywhere in the world. So look at this slaw. Oh boy, I just add a little touch of dressing to it. Look at the colors. Look at the nice colors in it. And uh, really, this salad is fantastic. It goes very well with any kind of food. Believe me, it can go with any kind of food. And now, let me decorate it a little bit to make it look more presentable. I always like to present my food good because uh, you can do that at home too. Nowadays, I watch a lot of videos. Uh, um, just as a hobby also, people cook at home, mothers, parents, you know, they cook, but they like to decorate the food because you need to understand you know, if something looks good, you enjoy it. And you believe me, when people see the presentation is good, everything will taste good. So this is this is a beautiful uh, hikama slaw. I want you to prepare it and enjoy it. And uh, give me the feedback, let me know how it is. And I'm sure it's gonna be super hit.